Hey guys, in this video I will explain you how to assemble any Cubic Cobra Max 3D printer. So in my previous video I explained how to unpack. In my previous video, whose link is given in the description below, I provided a brief overview of all the parts. So when you unpack the 3D printer box, you will see these parts. Mechanical parts, nuts and bolts, USB cables, grease, panel, assembly instruction, tools, etc. Here is a detailed assembly manual that gives the packing list and installation instructions. The first step is maybe the most difficult one and that is to install the frame. For that purpose we need four of these M545 screws. And you have to think a little bit about how you're going to assemble the frame. You can see my solution. I place the base and the upper frame at the end of the table so I can approach the mounting holes over here and over here. So there are four mounting holes. A nice thing is that you have a guiding groove over here that can be used to nicely fit the upper frame. While mounting the upper frame it's very important that the extruder is properly oriented. So the extruder should face this side and not the side where the back stepper motor is, that is not this side. So keep in mind that while you're assembling. Before you start attaching and tightening the screw, don't forget to add a spring washer that you can see over here. And first, let us tighten the top two screws. You don't need to tighten them too much, later on you can make the adjustments. Okay, so the next step is to install the supporting rod. One on this side and another one over here. And basically for that purpose you need the screws that you can see over here. Pay attention about this screw and this nylon lock nut. Make sure that it's properly oriented, that is, that it's oriented like this. The shorter screw goes up and the longer screw goes down. And I think the easiest technique to fasten this upper screw is to hold your right hand, the tool in the right hand like this, and I'm just moving my left hand. The other part of the rod is attached over here by using the longer screw and this washer. The next step is to install the touch screen that you can see over here. It's placed over here and to mount the touch screen we need two screws, actually three screws, but two different types. We need this screw, and this screw is M514 screw, and we need two M56 screws. Okay, so the next step is to install the plate. But before we install the plate, we need to remove this film. It's written over here, please remove film before use. So let's do that. And then we'll place the plate 
over here. Next, we remove this foil or the plastic film. And finally, we need to secure the plate by using these clamps. There are five of them. And you can look into the assembly instruction in order to figure out the locations of these clamps. And you can see the locations over here. So we have one over here, one over here, one over here and we have two at the top please keep in mind that while assembling or while clamping the top plate the longer part of the clamp see there are two parts that is the longer part of the clamp should be at the top so it should be like this The final mechanical assembly step is to attach the filament holder. It is very easy to attach this filament holder and I will not explain this step. The next step is to properly wire all the electromechanical components. We start with a cable that starts from here. Here's the cable. This cable has two parts, the shorter part and the longer part. The shorter part with this connector over here should be attached to this port, like this. The longer part should be connected over here. While connecting the cables, make sure that the cables are not twisted and that the extruder has enough space to move left and right. Next, attach the left motor, the Z-limit switch, the right motor, and the touch screen. You can see the connection over here, if it can be seen, if my camera can reach it. So here is the connection. The final step is to secure the print head table by using zip ties. First we apply a zip tie over here to secure it to the rod. Then we use this plastic bracket to secure it to this part. Then we use these cable clips to attach it to the filament or, or to the Teflon pipe. And finally, we use the zip tie to attach the cable to the print head. Here's the bracket. Also, don't forget to remove a zip tie that was over here. The zip tie connecting the extruder and two zip ties over here. And finally, make sure that you remove these rubbers that are under the wheels of the extruder so the extruder can move freely. And test if the extruder can freely move from one side to another. Make sure that the cable that connects the extruder can move with the extruder, like this. It's also very important to remove all the zip ties over here. There are actually two zip ties over here. One of them you can see over here I didn't remove. However, there is another one over here. Don't forget to remove these zip ties. Okay, so that's all for this video. We connected all the mechanical parts, 
connected all the wires with motors, switches and touch screen and we have secured the print head cable. In the next video we will explain fine tuning, leveling and how to attach a filament.